Dude, that's that's not a freaking patrol car. Oh, here he comes. Uh-oh. That's a no-no. Yeah, I'm a sergeant Buff County Affairs Office. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. Hey, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to a channel called Body Cam Watch. The video we're reacting to today is called Man Caught Impersonating Police After He Forgets to Turn Off Flashing Blue Lights. All right, let's check it out. On October 24th, 2022, an officer conducted a traffic stop on a vehicle that closely resembled a police car. I don't see it. Oh. Okay, sure does. McDonald's. Uh, zone three. Be a white charger, no tag. Looks like a cop car, blue lights. Zone one, channel one. Kind of a weird way to pull over. I don't know why I wouldn't just pull into a parking spot. How you doing? What's up, brother? Oh, not much. Who are you with? Uh, but I'm from Georgia, bro. We got sent down here for uh, the, what, the Home Depot. Uh -huh. yeah, we actually got sent back today. So it looked like you gave him some kind of official card. It looked like it had a star on it. Where's the tag for this one? What car? Is this a county car or no? Yeah, we. I pulled it off, man, because we worked this gig in Louisiana last year. That was two years ago. Mm -hmm. And, man, we had uh, local people calling the police and calling the county uh, saying, why you got Georgia people working down here? And, man, it became a big mess. Okay. Yeah. All right, give me a decision. But I got all the stuff on. Okay, okay. hang on, sir. That's weird. Oh, here comes another cop. Another officer arrives on scene. He's like, oh, yeah. Said sheriff. I'm a sergeant. But, dude, that's that's not a freaking patrol car. <laughs> hey, so I took it off because they always ask me questions or, you know, because we do stuff at other states and all this shit. Oh, he's got like a brown t-shirt on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That ain't no cop. He's pretty confident, though. He's pretty confident. This guy's onto him quick for him being as confident as he is. Usually they'll give him the benefit of the doubt first. I think he's doing private security at frickin' Home Depot. That's where I seen the car parked in the back this morning. Hey, it's, it's Corporal Leppard, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Okay, how you doing? Good. I'm just trying to verify employment of supposedly one of your deputies. Okay. You would have to call HR for that. Yeah, there's a fine line about what kind of information you can tell about your employees. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach... Of course. Has a voicemail box that what? has not been set up yet. Hey, it's Corporal Efforts again. Hey. hey, I can't get through to anybody. Nobody's picking up. Um, can try 770? <laughs> X-ray Corps, can I help you? Hey, it's Corporal Efforts, Charlotte County Sheriff's Office in Florida. Hey. Hey, I'm trying to verify employment of potentially one of your employees. Butts County. I'm probably blocking it, but it says Butts County. Down here? Um, unless it's with the magistrate court, I, I can't verify. Okay, is... Um, let me give you the number to the... HR. I said <laughs> commissioner's office. God, she would have said it's HR, sir. Third officer arrives on scene. That's what he's giving me. I'm trying to verify if he's even an employee, but that ain't no damn cop car. <laughs> yeah. No tag? No tag. No. He said he took it off. No. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice Jesus system. Jesus Christ. Yeah. They're on to this dude quick and they're getting mad that nobody's answering the phone. Got drugs? But county huh? order commissioners is not available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here he comes. Uh-oh. That's a no-no. We can't verify your this identity. the number from which you are calling. Oh, to leave another callback number, enter the... 
I bet this dude's driving through traffic, pushing people out of the way, just doing whatever the heck he wants all the time. Is that why y'all, man, I was just like, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? That's I've, been, I've been okay, like, you know, this whole time. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry I had the blues on, man. Yeah, I'm a Sergeant Buff County Sheriff's Office. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. No, I understand. I understand. But I mean, the thing is, like, I, I, I didn't know my blues were on, man. I, mean, I, I, I understand you, you didn't know your blues were on, but it's like now we're stuck here. This is a privately owned vehicle, right? Right, right, right. Blue lights, carrying a concealed weapon. Which, okay, I understand. We're trying to validate your your information. He's got a spotlight on it. Everything. This thing is decked out. Um, make sure that you are supposed to be working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have no problem once we can validate that. Yeah, yeah. You see the problem with the blues and no tag, that's the problem. Right, man, I, I don't run my blues, bro. Literally, I, when you pulled me over, I was like, okay, the no tag thing. I pulled it, well, I was pulling off and doing it. Right. And then I, when I walked out, I just seen my blues on. Because if you go in the car, you can't see them. Well, I understand. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just sure. saying, hang on, before we go, I'm just going to disarm you until we know exactly what's going on. Here. Uh, I got my 380, then my AR and stuff in there. Anything else, then? No, that's it. Okay. He's got two pistols and a, he's got two pistols and an AR on him. Sheesh. Yeah, I got my knife here. Stand by with it. One on one side. These guys saw right through this. Hey, it's Corporal Efforts again. Hey, it's me again from Florida. Does this guy work for you or not? Because nobody in your damn department can answer the phone. Hey, I'm not getting through. I'm not getting through to anybody. Do you have a road patrol supervisor or anybody I could speak with? Captain of Patrol. Let me That'd see be great. Here, let me give you this number. <laughs> hey, sir, it's Corporal Epper, Charlie County Sheriff's Office in Florida. I'm trying to verify employment. I'm out. I'm on a traffic stop down here in Florida with a guy claiming to be uh, employed by your agency. Here we go. Caesar is not employed with us. Okay, was he ever? He was. Okay. Recently dismissed or? So he was a sheriff, and now he's just playing sheriff. Two states away from his state. Okay. All right. He's still claiming to be gainfully employed by you. We've got him stopped down here in a white charger with blue lights on it. We're down in the area where the hurricane hit. So he's still claiming employment with you and everything else. He is not on our payroll. All right. Thank you, sir. That's all uh -oh. I need. Oh. Spaghetti goes. Somebody going to jail, he said. How you doing? He said, How you All doing? Right. If, if that's Captain Garrison, and he, he don't know what's going on. I'm if that's Captain Garrison, he don't know what's going on. Reserve with Butts County Sheriff's Office. He's okay. saying you're not employed, period. Yeah, well, he, he don't know what's going on, man. I, I can give you, we can go above him and call the sheriff. You better do it. Man, me and Captain, I know it, look, it looks weird, man, but me and, me and Captain. It looks weird because you're running lights, you're carrying guns, you got a sheriff's shirt on, you're two states away, you're not serving your community. You're going to jail, buddy. But I hope that we do call the sheriff. Well, he's one of the reasons I retired early. I right. retired back last September. Okay. Well, you were just indicating me that you're still employed well, and all that. So you said you are not employed. As of six months ago, you have nothing to do with the sheriff's office. Not even six months ago. It was, it was about a whole year ago. I, I went reserve with them. Okay. Well, here's, yeah, here's our dilemma. Squad. It's not You're, even a real squad car. No. It's a privately owned squad car. Correct. Correct. Right? Yeah. So and you're driving red and blue with the blues on. I didn't mean to. I'm really I, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. And you presented an ID that you're an active active employee and you're not an active employee. Well, I'm reserved, brother. I can. Our our I ID mean, cards stay reserved. And I understand that. Yeah, our, ours, ours, ours don't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I just talked to my captain, Bruce Knight, um, and I asked for, because you got to do 20 hours a, a year in Georgia to make sure you're basically keeping up with your hours. I just called him to make sure I'm still with the sheriff's office. He said, yeah, we're good. Like, brother, I'm, I'm telling you, I was a sergeant, man. Hey, we're having a problem. Having a problem. Thank you. 
We'll get with you. But you understand what I'm saying. I'm ha McDonald's employees like, uh, can you get out of my driveway, please? Because y'all are taking up a lot of room. I'm having a huge problem. I, I, I understand. Huge I understand. problem. I understand, sir. Like, I completely understand. I was, in, I'm, I was a sergeant too. You know what I'm saying? And I can call my sheriff. You can talk to. See, him. you can call your sheriff, and how do I know that's really the sheriff? I'll, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, I will. I mean, I can, I can call anybody at the sheriff's office. I, I call the sheriff's office, and I'll ask for Amanda, who is, uh, who is uh, Sheriff David Long's assistant, and he will prove to you. Or I can call Bruce Knight, who was the captain there, who does all the hours and stuff. Was the captain? Um, you said, was the captain? Who's not? Yeah. Captain, Captain Garrison? I don't know. I can't remember who he's yes. from. Okay, yeah, Matt Garrison. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I can prove to you, brother. Um, I got Officer Thompson, who works for like PD, who's up there. He's calling me now. You right. Know, I'm, <laughs> I don't understand. Well, here, here's the difference. You're, you're wearing a sheriff's office shirt. You're wearing a, definitely not a, driving a cop car that's not a cop car. You're doing private security at Home Depot. You're representing yourself as a sheriff's deputy. With an Under Armour hat on. You're not here mutual aid for the hurricane. Well, sir, as a reserve, we can do that. As a reserve. Oh, you, no, no, you have to be under mutual aid. Private security. You're not here mutual aid representing your agency to help us out during time. Because we have, we have lots of mutual aid agencies that come here. Yes, so. You're again riding down a road in a civilian vehicle Outfitted with like a cop car with blue lights on. Man, There's a violation. I'm sorry and a spotlight. Blue, like, okay, well, we're not going to get past. Sorry, bro. Uh, right now, I don't believe you. I'm going to be straight up honest yeah. with you. I don't believe you. And I will never, I will never put myself in a situation that I will be. Equal. What else do you have in the vehicle other than a car, a gun? Do you have any uh, drugs? Anything no, in there? No, no, man. I'm, I'm clean. I do, I do security in Georgia. That's, that's just what we do, you know. Uh -huh. um, and I'm reserved. You can't do security unless you're reserved with the sheriff's office. He doesn't know reserve. I went past Captain Garrison. It, it went to the sheriff. You know, it's just some people that don't appreciate. You know, I mean, I've been seven years with these guys. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, well, I'm for not, right now, we're going to detain you. Period. I understand. All right. So go ahead and turn around. We'll put your hands behind your back. Okay. Can I um, put your hands behind your back? Nah, you can't, bro. All right. You need two two sets of cops. I do. Right? Okay. We'll meet you on. Take that watch off him. Okay. He's just on it. There's one in the car. Yeah. There's one in the car still. There's two in the car. Or was the 380 on his hip? Security badge or a... no? That's my. That's my. Uh, 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 patrol sergeant. Yeah. I'm from both of them. You were. What? Yeah. So now you're. I'm reserved. Oh, he's still rocking the badge. Man, I know. I know how it seems, man. It's, it's not like that, you know. One 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 thirty. Yeah. 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 It's like the dad that's at the at the football game trying to tell the coach how to play. Well, this ain't your prime anymore, buddy. This ain't your prime anymore, Sheriff. Let's have a seat. I'll give you some air roll on there, too. So you're going to have 130 tank? Yeah, just transport. Because she's got to swap out her vehicle down a fleet. You did say you had a 380 in there, though. Right? Yeah. Okay. And there's, there, I'll let you search. I'll let you find it, and then you find it. How stupid can you? I went through Home Depot this morning. I seen that. I'm like, hmm. No tag. So no tag, he's, but it was part he's of nefariously the trying to hide the identity that it's not a real car. And he's, at, and he's showing himself as a right. Like, even and there was another guy that I didn't see when I first went through. There was a guy wearing a badge, a gun on his hip with a sheriff's shirt. But right. then when I came back around, he was gone. So it's this security company. Yeah. Well, if he wants to call the sheriff, because the garrison. He he's in tight with the sheriff. Yeah. So he can call call him from the tail. Even if he's a reserve, you can't you can't be doing that. Yeah, you can't do that. He's out of his jurisdiction. The reason that this is really dangerous is he could be pulling people over on the side of the road. If if they let people get away with this, then just random people could be pulling you over, pulling over your daughter, your wife, your kids, you know, you never uh you never want that situation. So they really gotta put a stop to this as soon as they see it and not really Deviate from it. Yeah, from Georgia. Yeah, let's search the car. Surprised there's no bulletproof vest. Got a bunch of batteries, smell goods, Mentos. Dang, he's got a lot of smell he's goods. Yeah, yeah, he's playing a cop. 
Oh, yeah, look, he's got him a laptop here. He's living on the back seat. Oh, look, Sheriff, Sheriff Coat. 101 was asking if he could handle a death check. That's probably the 380 right there. Contact Liz. Nah. Oh, there's an AR in here somewhere. There's a vest. Dang, they got this dude dead to rights. Oh, yeah. There's a brand new store bought shirt that says Sheriff. <laughs> Let's switch her over, him over to her and throw this shit back in. We'll call it oh, yeah, something. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I'm, inventory. I'm really sorry I read my blues, but I, I don't do that. You know, like, I think. Well, even without the blues and no tag, it's kind of like. No, man. He bought the blues himself off Amazon. It's not like they were issued to you and you accidentally turned them on. See, so the whole kicker is we understand your private security. I see your cards in there. I get all that. I even get it if you say you're still a reserve deputy, but you can't represent yourself as a sheriff's deputy as a private security officer. You can't run down the road with a car that resembles a cop car with blue lights. My verification through the agency that you're with that you're no longer employed. So based on all that, this is what we're doing. So you are under arrest for impersonating a police officer. Okay. If you work that out in court and it all washes out, then. Yeah, if he's a cop, then they'll just really just knock it off court. He'll have to pay to get his car towed, but that's worst case scenario. Gets all his stuff back. I mean, it's an inconvenience, but obviously he's not active. So be it. At this time, that's where we're at. That's what I'm doing. That's what's going on. If you just. There's nothing I can do to change it now. There's two weapons in there that I accounted for. The one you were carrying, there was also one in the console. I have both those. We're going to go into evidence. He said there's an AR in there, too. Please, like, this is a big mistake. And you talked to the wrong person. I talked to a captain of Roe Patrol. I yeah, talked to several captain, people. Captain Garrison, Captain Garrison does not, he, he does not know, sir. You still have no jurisdiction down right. here to be running around with blue lights yeah. on. Even if that were the case, yep. yeah, you're outside of your it's, state. Yes, it goes right back to what I just said. You're working as private security, but you're you're wearing all the sheriff's insignias. With a badge you on your head. You presented yourself to me when I stopped you as a sheriff sergeant, not as a private security yeah, from guy. from Georgia. But not as private security. Well, I'm from Georgia, though. Work. You yeah, are, from as private security. Boy, that's from I understand Georgia. Georgia. But you can't represent yourself as a sheriff. What are you raising? So uh, I can't represent uh, myself as a sheriff uh, or from Georgia no. being nope. deployed down for Home Depot? Uh, nope, you're not deployed as mutual aid. You're here doing private contracts. The man was charged with falsely impersonating a police officer, prohibited use of flashing or rotating blue light, and open carrying of weapons or firearms. I don't think it was open because it was concealed on his hip, but... Who might argue? All right, go ahead and have a seat for me. Dang. He eventually entered a plea deal to serve one year of probation and surrender his firearms. Dang, that sucks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe check out some of my other police videos in the police playlist below. And come back tomorrow because we'll be watching something else. See you then.